So the recording is started. And let me share my screen. I hope I'm audible. Okay, thank you. Can you see my screen now? Thank you. So welcome to week 11, 12, and good afternoon, uh, good morning, according to your geographical position. Uh, here we are for the second tutorial, uh, which is title market research and product definition. So, in this tutorial, we will cover the definition of market research and product definition. You will see why we want to use market research, what are the benefits of market research, the methods of market, of market research, the different types of market research, and what are the steps of conducting a good market research. And we will see also some examples. Before diving into the into introduction, let me ask you if anyone has a question. If there's no question, I can continue. All right. Okay. To to get to the intro, introduction, I will start by asking us three questions. So the first question will be: Why do we want to? Why do we want to know the reason why? our customers are not buying our product. So let us imagine that we are a, pro a project manager in a big organization, or we are an entrepreneur. So we have our business, or we are, lead or we are leading a business. And at some point, we realize that our consumers are not buying our product. The first question that we came to our mind is, what's the reason why? Why, why, why this behavior? So, this is the first question. The second question we are going to ask is, imagine that in the same scenario, you want to launch a new product, but you're not sure what your consumer wants. So you want to figure out the interest of your consumer. This is the second question. The third question is, when our consumer want a given product. So those two questions that you have asked now, to answer them, a market research and the product definition will help us to answer those three questions. And for that reason, let us understand first of all what market research is and what a product definition is as well. Market research, it is a process of gathering and analyzing data about a market. What do you mean by market here? You mean, you mean by, you mean target audience, competitors, industry trends, and customers needs. And the reason why you want to, you want to get into that process is to make sure that we will have a better business decision at the end, and we want to answer the three questions we, we have seen in the introduction, such as the why, the what, and the when. 
Yeah, somebody has raised his hand. Uh, yeah, you can speak because I'm not seeing that. Not seeing you now. Uh, has anyone raised his hand? No. No. Okay, good. So let us continue. If you anyone want to say something, just open your microphone and speak. Thank you. So, so this is what market research is. When it comes to product definition, it is also a process, or this process will help us to define the product's feature, the benefits of the product, the, the, the target market of the product, and the positioning of the product in the marketplace. So, I think you have a good understanding of what market research is and what product definition is. Now we can see, let us see the reason why we want to see the, we want to engage in market research. Obviously, from the introduction up to now, you can have an idea because you want, you said that we wanted to, to answer to some question, the why, the what, and the when. So in general, we want to understand and examine the market associated with a given product. It might be a product or a service that we want to we want to uh, give to our consumers or our customers. And we want to know also how the audience will react to that product or service. In general, this is what we want. This is the reason why we want to do a market research. Because we don't want to, to be asking the same question because those questions come when will really come when we, we are not we are not satisfied, we are not succeeding our business or our projects. So we want to avoid those questions. We want to anticipate basically. So the other reason why we want to use uh, market research is also to be able to use the result from the market research. After doing the market research, we want to be able to, to tailor marketing, to advertise our product, or to determine consumers features priorities, or if they have a service requirement. So those are the reasons why we want to do a market research. Now, as we know the, the why, the reason why you want to use the market research, what are the benefits of market research? The first benefit of market research is customer is customer satisfaction. Because it will help us to understand and meet the customer expectation. So when you, you, you do your market research, you know that, okay, yeah, for, for this specific reason, uh, customer will not buy my product, then I can fix it. Then at that moment, which means that your customer, they lack your product. So they will continue buying your product. It will, it will, it will help us also to, to know, okay, our customer, you know when our customer will buy our product. So we will not be waiting or we will not, we will not be, uh, we will not, Setting our product at, at the wrong time. So we will always meet the expectation of our customers. So the first benefit is customer satisfaction. And the first one is linked to the, the last one, reduction customer chain. I want to talk about that right now. Because the cost the reduction customer chain churn. <clears throat> what do we mean by customer? Churn. The customer churn is the rate of uh, the rate of the customer to to know. I mean to to leave basically our product. If the customer are not interested in our product anymore, we call that one customer churn. They won't buy our product 
they won't be interested in our product that we leave. If there is a competitor, they will go to that competitors. And you want to reduce that kind of uh, scenarios. So market research will help us to have those kind of benefits to reduce customer churn. Now let us talk about the, the first bullet point, which is uh, informed decision making. With the market research, we can have uh, insights for strategic planning because we have basically everything that will help us to succeed our product or our business. Market research also will help us to forecast to forecast to forecast our product our production and sales. So because we have gathered data and analyzed the data, we can do some prediction how if for instance we we are in a smartphone and we we want to produce a smartphone, we will anticipate how many how many how how many Mac, a smartphone are we going to produce and how many smartphones are we able are, will be able to sell the second thing the second benefit of a market research is it will help us to identify trends and opportunities obviously after doing analysis we can see how the the market will behave and if are there some opportunity we can embrace those opportunities? The another benefit of market research is analyzing competitors. Yeah, here market research is so powerful that it can help us to identify our competitors, what are their strengths and what are their weaknesses, and then we will based on the Weaknesses, we can know how to to grow our business. Our we can know how we can gain more customers because we are using the we can, we are using uh, we are, we are using the weaknesses in our in our, in in our uh, in our advantage. Okay, so it will help us to do those kind of things. And the last thing that we, uh, the last benefit from the market research is we can grow our business we can improve our profitability our revenue and the reputation of our business or our company so those are the benefits of market research so the question we may ask how can we do the market market research so to do a market research we can use a survey or questionnaire which are the list of questions that we will ask our audience or our customers or consumers. We can use also we can use also face-to-face -face interview to get information from our audience. We can also use a sample or focus group. Here we will interact with a group of persons, it might be six to ten, and to to also gather data by also it will be question and answer and collect information from them and we have also another method we call qualitative research and uh, research which is here in qualitative research the, the 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 focus will be on how the customer feel and think so the question will the question will be oriented on the how the customer feel and think. We have also quantitative research, which will be focusing on the statistics, such as web view, website view, how many the customer view our website, maybe uh, how 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 many customers do we have, and uh, everything that that is related to information or uh, in a numerical information related to the customer and the product will be grouped into quantitative research so as we know now how we can do a, mar a market research let us see the type of market research because we we don't have just one type of market research so we have basically two 
categories of market research. The first one is called primary research. And that one, during that one process, we will be focusing on data collected directly from your uh, from our target audience. Okay, and we can use both uh, qualitative and quantitative research methods. Uh, so, which means that we will be focus we will be focusing on the how the our customer think and feel, and as as well as we will be focusing on the numbers on the statistics that will help us to 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 collect more data and after analyzing them. The second category of market research is called secondary research. In this process, we have already a data, okay? And we will use the existing data that we have collected so far from external sources. It may be a market report, maybe gov government data or industry publication. And then we don't need necessarily to go on uh, go and start doing a survey and interview, focus group. No, we will use the existing data collected from external sources. This is we call when we start doing that one, we call that a secondary research. Okay, so as we we have grown our knowledge so far. What are the steps of conducting a good market research? Because at the end of the day, this is what we want to do. We want to do we want to conduct a good market research. The first thing we need to do is to define our research objective. So we need to ask ourselves, what do we want to learn? Do we want to learn the, the, the size of the market? Do we want to know something about our competitors? Do you want to know uh, the need of the customers? Do you want to know when the customer wants to buy a product? Okay, so you need to define those objectives and it should be clear on the, we need to do that on paper, or even if you are not using paper and you are using uh, a web application or a platform, you need to put down that objective clearly is very important. The second thing we need to do is to identify our target audience. Who are we going to reach? Who are we trying to, are, are we trying to reach? Is it female? Is it a male we want to reach? Is our product for kids and not adults? Or uh, is it for a specific region? We need to identify our target by Answer, by answering this question, who are you trying to reach? And this is the way we need to identify our target. When we have identified our target, it's time now to go and choose the right research type. It may be a primary or a secondary research. And we, when we choose the, the appropriate Type of our research, we need to also combine our different methods we have seen so far to do our market research. Now, the next the next step is to collect now the data to so start using everything we have seen so far to go and collect the data from from our target, of course, by using a survey interview or a group focus. When, when we have collected our data, now we can analyze them. We can analyze now our data collected. By, now here is the time to identify the trend, the pattern, and after identify them, we can interpret them to draw a meaningful conclusion that will be helpful for the business and for the the decision making in the business. So when we have reached that step, it's now time for us to define our product. Because that's why the market research is very powerful. Because it is when you 
we, we do that, that we can now say, okay, let us define our products. Now, we, you, we, you can identify briefly the product at the beginning, but after doing the market research, it, it is when you can define properly your product. By, because uh, the market research will help you to, to gain from the, from your target, from your target market, uh, the, 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 the feature, the feature of your product, the benefits of your product and <clears throat> the positioning of the, of the product in the market. So this is how it goes. And the last step for the market research is reporting it to report our funding. Everything we have seen so far, we need to be able to report them. We need to report the results in a clear and actionable format. That will be understandable by everybody, especially for the stakeholder. And in the report, make sure you, you, you include the, the summary research, the methodology, uh, the results, and the recommendation. Okay, so when you've done that, yeah, you can say that yeah, you have done a, you have conducted a good market research. So here are some examples of market research. Uh, we have here the first bullet point point is, is is developing a new smartphone. So here you need to understand the customer preference for future size and price. So when you are conducting your your market research in, for the, the the first the first one, the questionnaire or the survey you will provide will be focusing on which which kind of mobile phone or which kind of smartphone my target wants. And do uh, do they want a, a big smartphone or a small smartphone? Which kind of feature are they interested in? Is it is a uh, a good camera they are interested in to take pictures? Uh, which which price are they interested in? Uh, which which is which range range of price are they interested in? So we need to collect this information. Hey, according to that, we can now design our smartphone for the appropriate target. The second example is launching a clothing line. Here, uh, the market research will help us to identify the trend of the customer and the customer preference in style. Of course, if you don't go and do a proper survey, you can't know the style that your that your audience really like. You are, you will design something because of your own experience or your own preference. And when you will go to the market, people won't buy it. So it is very important to go and do the market research in order to design a proper product to a specific target. You have the last example is to you will uh, it is spending a restaurant menu. So, We'll be researching customer desire for new food options. It is the same thing. We will go through the, the, the process you have seen so far to be able to do this kind of uh, market research. So, is there any question? Um, let me see my screen. Is there any question, please? Is now I can see your. I can see you. If there is any question, you can raise your hand. If not, you can show some reaction. And we we'll wrap up the session. Yeah. So uh, the last thing I will add is uh, the the challenge document is well detailed, and we will guide you to. With the, the 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 tutorial we have seen now, it will help you now to understand 
what the challenge document is saying and how you can answer the different question asked in, in the challenge document. And of course, you are going to use AI and you have provided, you have provided, uh, have provided some prompt to you to be used. And of course, you need to customize those prompts to answer a specific question. So that's it. And thank you for being here. And thank you also. I'm, I'm thanking especially Wendy for her patience because she was there so far. We are waiting for other colleagues. <laughs> so thank you guys. And I wish you to have a nice day.